come stand by me? Come on up, Mommy. Well, uh, man, and there you all are. These guys have no idea that they're actually in training right now. So, um, th that video sort of eluded that this was going to be some special speech or something, so uh, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Um, welcome to the 11 year anniversary party. Is everybody in? Is everybody in? It's a quote from my good friend Jim Morrison. Uh, so yeah, it feels like I was just up here. Like the last 365 days were kind of a blur. But um, looks like everybody's doing great. I, uh, I want to welcome you all back uh, if, if you're not from here or, or visit here regularly. I want to welcome you back to the village of Bel Air in Antrim County. The birthplace of Shorts Brewing Company. Uh, we really appreciate your support and we're glad you came uh, to help us celebrate today in this community in which we love. So thank you very much for that. I also want to give a big shout out to uh, Planet Earth and the Milky Way Galaxy for providing us such a beautiful day. That worked out really well for us. Um, and thanks to the Accidentals for uh, such a fantastic performance. We're, uh, we're so lucky to have such an awesome group of uh, talented young musicians, especially from our home state and our area in this region. So thanks to those, that, that talented young crew. Just uh, awesome work. And, uh, in fact, all of today's music is uh, Michigan Roots. So, uh, following me is Wolfpack and Green Sky Bluegrass. And uh, while I'm on the topic, I do have to say it, um, Josh Davis is also a, uh, a Michigan native, and uh, we applaud his efforts on his, uh, his work with The Voice. So I'm just going to forego the housekeeping announcements, all right? Let's... Uh, you guys are all well behaved, right? All right, so now it's time to, uh, to get into some thank you acknowledgements. Uh, I do have to say that um, while I was uh, in the future a couple minutes ago, that um, I was able to come back and walk through the festival grounds earlier today, and it was really strange that I didn't have anything to do. And um, so I want to I wanna take a, a moment right now to give the Shorts uh, Festival and Event Team a special acknowledgement because those guys are badass. Like, I don't know what we can compare this uh, event to, but um, Tim, Rika, Sarah Bozar, Kendall, Fifefield, and uh, David Truax. You guys are awesome. I don't know where you're at, but if you can hear me, raise your hand so uh, people can know who you are and know that you're badasses. Um, incredible event that you put together here today. It is even more incredible that um, my, my only job was to come out here and talk to you and, and greet all of you uh, folks, and thank you for coming here. Um, and of course... <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Um, and of course, uh, without the collaboration of all the Shorts employees and the respective departments, we couldn't host and operate such an awesome event of this quality and magnitude. And I'm going to say that one more time. Quality and magnitude. This is a big-ass event. Um, so I'm just going to breeze through these, and I apologize if... Uh, I miss someone, I really do, because some, we, we're hiring and creating departments faster than I can keep up with. And I was just in 2022, so I haven't had time to write this. But the art department, the maintenance team, the brewers, the sellermen, the packaging uh, departments, the marketing team, the administrative team, the human resources department, 
finance department, the liberators, the short, smart, and merchandise folks, the internet, or sorry, information technology guys, IT guys, the creative team, the executive team, and the hospitality group, which is the pub tenders, the kitchen staff, and the pub management team. All you guys, I'm just humbled by your awesomeness. So keep, keep kicking ass. I also want to thank the people in the Shorts uh, Brewing uh, Company organization. Sorry, wrong bullet. Um, I'm, I'm just uh, truly blessed to be around uh, such a high caliber group of people who really are passionate about what they do and what we're doing here in Bel Air. Um, I also want to thank the local fire department, the paramedics, and the law enforcement for working with us on keeping this area safe uh, for us all and allowing us to use uh, the state highway, thanks to MDOT um, and the village of Bel Air. I also want to give a shout out to our wholesale uh, partners, or as, uh, I like, uh, as like we, we like to describe it as our, uh, our marriage with Imperial Beverage. Um, Thanks for all the years of slinging our beer throughout the state of Michigan. We really appreciate that. Um, and thanks to all you, your turn, all you folks here, bought a ticket to come to this event to help raise money for the village um, so we can make it sweet and awesome for the future. Thank you for that. Does everybody hear me okay? All right. I was told I got to put my lips on this thing, but it doesn't feel right. Um, so, now on to the fun part of the State of the Brewery Address. This is where the, uh, the information gets exciting. So, pub barrel production, uh, 1,581 barrels. This is a 6% increase from last year, mostly because we're, we're slinging more in Elk Rapids. So, in Elk Rapids, 34,638 barrels, 32% uh, from last year. Total beer uh, produced, uh, 36,220 at 31%. Um, sales growth from last year. Um, I think these are pub and uh, production numbers. But we're just going to say that uh, in the last 11 years, we've grown 4,210%. So that's really awesome. How you doing, buddy? Good. Say anything? Good. Thanks for your patience, Simon. You're doing great. All right, employee growth from 2004. Six people to now 131 people. I, wanna, I, I was thinking about this today on my run. I was like, we should just measure our, our employment numbers by awesome. We are 131 awesome units strong right now. Uh, that's a 2,083% increase in the last 11 years, making us one of the top 10 employers in Antrim County. <laughs> um, in the last 11 years, we've brewed over 29 million pints of beer. We've brewed almost 400 different beers in Short's history. 136 different beers last year, 22 different ciders, sorry about that, 131 tap takeovers, 76 guided beer tastings, 50 beer dinners, 40 beer fests, community based as well as Michigan Brewers Guild and other national ones we participate in, 20 uh, staff beer 101 trainings, which means we're out there teaching people about our beer and why it's awesome. Sponsorships, ton to, ton to acknowledge here. Um, Glacial Hills, Farmland 5K, Short Spring Fat Bike Series, White Pine Stampede, North American Vasa, TC Trail Running Festival, Shaney to Shorts, the first annual TC Curling Club, Cherry Bomb Spiel, 2015 Conquer the Village Mountain Bike Race, NMBA Long and Shorts, uh, mountain bike ride. We support the Chain Lakes Waterways through Paddle Antrim, as well as hundreds of other smaller donations. Current status of Michigan beer produced, distributed in Michigan, we rank third behind Bells and Founders. 
And we, uh, we celebrate lots of the top brewery brew pub beer ratings and currently hold a world-class status on beer advocate and rate beer. And one I forgot to put on here was that the Lansing State Journal just said we are Michigan's favorite brewery. Is that right? So thanks, everybody. That's awesome. Um, and another fun fact for the pub, 165 live performances last year, all free to the public. All right, now into the sentimental part. How are we doing on uh, getting close? All right. Woo! So I had a hard time keeping it together today while I was writing this, and uh, a lot of it had to do with the music playing and just taking in all of the organization and the effort and the staff's synergy uh, working together to put on this beautiful event. The weather, um, just being here, waking up um, and being at home with the family. It's really a special time. Very powerful, emotional day for me, for whatever reason. I know it's supposed to be sad or anything, but I'm kind of a softy that way. Um, but last year was the first year we closed the streets down to celebrate a decade of how far we've come. So this year, um, as you can tell, we're sort of uh, theming everything in the back to the future kind of way. We're focusing about the future. So this decade, the second decade, is about what we're going to do in the next 10 years. Because last, uh, last year, um, as we entered double digits, we really felt like we were just getting started, like we were just starting to figure out how to run this whole brewery thing. So now our uh, plan is to focus on uh, the horizon and where being awesome hungry can take us. Uh, using the power of our people and our brands to make improvements to our community and its related culture is really what our plan uh, for the future is. So, um, as I'd mentioned, we have a Back to the Future theme kicking here. Um, and, and on that note, uh, it was 2015. The year was 2015 when they went to the future. Back, back to the future. Um, and it was also the 30th anniversary of Back to the Future, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool movie. So I want to give a shout out uh, to the folks who let us use their DeLorean. If you haven't seen the DeLorean, we actually have a DeLorean down there. <clears throat> um, and again, for all of those, if you don't know, this party is a fundraiser. So we, last year we really debated heavily on whether or not we should do another party of this magnitude. And we're like, well, F it. We can't go back. We're going to have to do it again. But if we do it again, we need to have a partnership with a village because we're all in this together. I got a lot to go yet, but you guys keep rolling. Sorry, this is the last, uh, last minute um, idea I had to really bring the, the state of the breed dressed together. Um, so anyway... Wait till I get to number six. Um, so um, this is a fundraiser for the Downtown Development Authority that Bel Air has. Half of the profits of this event are going to go to that organization so we can do awesome improvements in the village. Stuff like parking, stuff like utilities, stuff like infrastructure, stuff like beautification, business development, all that stuff. So... If at the end of this event you have extra tokens in your pocket, you want to convert those to cash for the DDA, you can put those in an extra bin up by the front entry. If you want to put some cold hard cash into there, please do. If you want to write a check, go ahead and do that. That'll be above and beyond what we're already splitting for the DDA. The more uh, we can bring in, the more we can do. Um, but really in thinking about the future, we're talking about a lot of awesome stuff that requires a grand vision and uh, extreme responsibility. So as uh, Mohandas Gandhi says, be the change that you want to see in the world. And I want all of us to embrace this idea because not only do I want to leave this place and planet Earth in better shape than we found it, I believe it is our responsibility. So I want to make this place awesome, and I want the next generation to pick up where we're handing off. Did you hear that, Simon? Drum 
Yes. You guys hear that? So, what's going to be awesome in the future? The village of Bel Air. The Bel Air DDA. Glacial Hills, keeping us loving nature, keeping our bodies and minds well, being an economic driver for Antrim County. Paddle Antrim, the rebirth of the shorts to shorts. Um, showcasing our natural waterways and the communities that surround them. Recreation, economic drivers of those regions. Developing initiatives to keep our precious lakes and rivers clean. Antrim County, the real up north. Come on. This place is great. Starcut Ciders. We, yeah, that's, we have a new brand. It's called Starcut. Have some Starcut. Touch some butt. It's good. It's good. Um, Starcut also gave us uh, Starla, the Starcut machine. If you haven't seen that beauty, go give her a kiss. Other stuff that's going to be awesome in the future, Short Smart. That's right. Shop Smart. Shop Short Smart. And if you didn't get that Army of Darkness reference, then you need to go watch Army of Darkness. Um, but what's cool about that is we've got more jobs. We've got more products. We've got partnerships. Um, and then, of course, the pub. On the other side of that semi, pouring thousands of gallons of beer, is an expansion going on. We're adding a kitchen, we're adding bathrooms, we're adding seats, we're adding jobs, we're adding money, we're adding tax base. And we're fixing up really crappy old buildings. Elk Rapids production facility. This last, uh, last year we put in a new filler, we put in a new wastewater treatment plant. And I'm not sure if this, uh, this is true or not, but we may or may not be the first brewery in the state of Michigan to have our own wastewater pretreatment system. If that's true, awesome. If it's not, then we're like one or three or four or something. All right, so how are we going to do it? One, we're going to continue to grow the SBC family. Our beer, our cider, our food, our merchandise are all awesome. People are our best product. They produce amazing things. We're going to be awesome employers. We just adopted the 2018 minimum wage increase last year. We're going to continue to bring, you, bring young minds to our area and grow this community. Two, we're going to stay awesome hungry. We're going to gobble up awesomeness on every opportunity, like throwing kick-ass parties like this. Number three, we're going to stay true to our values and what makes us great. Nobility, integrity, goodwill, honesty, and embracing humility. Being people who run a company. Number four, Michigan only, Michigan forever. Power and localness. Helping Michigan be the best state in the union. We're going to go B Corp. Don't really know what that means, but it's awesome. No, um, really, B Corp is uh, basically stuff we already do. It, it's about um, making business decisions that have uh, a positive impact on our employees, our communities, our vendors, and our ecosystem. And number six. We're going to use the power of love. I started Shorts Brewing Company in 2004 with a few close friends. But it was Leah and I and the power of our love. Where is she at? It was the power of our love that got Shorts off the ground and prepped for the next level, the level you see here today. And again, Lee and I's power of love have brought us Simon and Elmer. The future. And uh, Leah, you're doing a great job with these guys. And the future looks bright for them. And I'm confident they will serve us into the future as well. 
Eleven years later, our power of love has expanded to 131 employees, awesome units, in the great state of Michigan. Keep the love strong and powerful. Keep Michigan strong and keep it awesome. Happy 11th anniversary, everybody. Thanks for coming to the party.